Hi guys and welcome to another video. If you're new here, my name is Natasha and this little guy, his name is Ali. Ali is a four-year-old spore monkey and in today's video I'm going to share with you the five most and in today's video I'm going to share with you the five most expensive things about owning a monkey. So let's get to it. very first thing you have to consider is the actual monkey. Um, you can't have any of the other ones unless you absolutely have the first one. So the purchase price of a monkey. Now Ali was a rescue so we did not purchase them from a breeder um, but we do know that monkeys go anywhere from $5,000 to $20,000 depending on the breed, the species, the breeder, and all sorts of other varying factors in that. The and what all the monkey comes with. Um, so there are a lot of variables when it does come to the purchase price. Luke and I obviously, disclaimer down below, do not promote the sale of exotic pets in the exotic pet trade. All right, and number two is the vet bills. So if you didn't know, monkeys cannot go to a general vet. They cannot go to the same one that you take your cat or your dog or your turtle to. They have a specialty primate vet that they have to go to um, that has extra additional courses and education in, in the primate field. So before you even purchase a monkey, you should definitely look and see where your closest primate veterinarian is. And the reason being is because not only will you have the veterinarian cost, you will also have travel costs. And you also need to consider that monkeys will attach themselves to their human and so when they go to the vet they will be very scared. Um, unlike cats and dogs that can be socialized with a ton of people, um, there are certain species and breeds of monkeys that particularly just stick with their family core group. So there are added costs when going to the vet like getting anesthesia done um, every time you go to the vet so the veterinarian can stay safe as well and make sure that they get a very thorough examination on the monkey. Let's move on to the third cost. The third most expensive thing about owning a monkey is the enclosures slash cages. So Ollie has a couple of different options of cages as he grows. Obviously the bigger cages cost more. Um, to give you a good price range, because of Ollie's species, he likes to be high up in the trees. Um, that is just their natural habitat. So we went with a vertical cage, um, one that goes as high as we can get it from the floor to the ceiling. So that way we could replicate Ollie's natural habitat as best as we can. So his main enclosure was around $600. And then he has a step up enclosure, which is a five by five by seven or eight, I wanna say. And that one is, was well into $1,200. Um, and as he gets older, we will obviously have to get a bigger enclosure. And so the price of that can range anywhere into, if you get them custom done, they can go anywhere into the thousands and thousands of dollars. Um, also keep in mind, if you plan to do like an outside aviary for them, that also is something that has to be custom done and that is quite expensive. Another thing that you also have to purchase along with the main enclosure are tiny travel cages. Um, these are generally not as expensive, but it really depends on your species of monkey. Um, Ollie is always going to be on the smaller side, so a regular dog crate is okay for his travel enclosure, but if you were to get a capuchin, they can easily get out of those. And so you will have to invest in something a little bit more durable and sturdy and something that will actually keep the monkey safe and enclosed. All right, the fourth most expensive thing about owning a monkey is the food. Everybody knows that food prices have absolutely skyrocketed recently within the past year and a half. Food has become outrageous. 
So one of the things that Luke and I do is we have our own garden and we have a greenhouse and we try to grow as much of the greens as we can for Ollie and that helps to cut down our grocery bill by a lot. We also try to keep Ollie's food bowl um, varying by the season. So we try to use summer squash when it is squash season and we use apples when it is fall time for apple season. And then once we get into like berry season in June and July around here, that is when we start adding those in. So we try to keep the cost down as much as possible by purchasing in season. There are obviously some things that are staples in Ollie's diet, like eggs. Um, Ollie eats three eggs a day and eggs right now are absolutely so expensive, it's ridiculous. But the way that we have been able to help with that is we do have some laying hens and I water glass the eggs during the summertime to help us get through the winter time. Another thing you also need to consider is the climate in which you live in. Um, Luke and I live in North Carolina and so the growing season is a lot longer than what it was in Ohio when we lived there. So we are able to take maximum benefit from not only local farmer stands but also from our own garden and um, really try to extend the growing season out as long as possible. We also have a greenhouse which helps us to extend a couple months more than what we normally would be able to with just the garden. All right, and then number five, lastly, is the heating and cooling costs. This is something that most people, Ali is very angry at the moment. <laughs> this is something that most people don't consider before they get a pet monkey, is that the species or the breed that they get may or may not require a certain temperature or above or a little bit below what you are comfortable with. So I personally like the house around 65 degrees. That, however, would be way too cold for Ollie. Ollie has to have at least 70 or above. So during the winter time, we have to have the thermostat set at 72 to 73 to make sure that we maintain above 70 at all times. And during the summertime, I would also prefer it to be a lot cooler, but Ollie also has to have the temperature regulated in between 70 and 72 for um, so I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Make sure you give it a big thumbs up and subscribe if you're new. We will see you in the next video. And also be sure to check out Ollie's blog. It is www.ollythemonkey.com. See you. Bye.